This tank is not real. It was made in a PC video game called Aquarium Designer. This game can help you hone your aquascaping skills. You have the ability to create various tanks ranging from small to large aquariums and fill them with all kinds of aquatic plants, livestock, and unique hardscape, all in 3D. There are two parts to this game. A campaign where you build aquariums for different clients, provided that you uphold any requirements, and a sandbox mode where you can create anything you want. Within this sandbox mode, you have the ability to choose between realistic mode and being a filthy casual. Realistic mode is where you have to maintain your aquarium every day or it will completely die off. What? What the f Casual is the opposite and is the true sandbox experience. The limit of what you can do in this game is minimal, which means you can perform something really dumb, like putting 13 Oscars inside this aquarium. But there is a reasonable limit on what you can do. As of the date of this video was uploaded, there are 29 different real-world plant species and 45 different fish species, all of which have different requirements. Plus, you do not have to wait for the tank to cycle or even wait for the plants to grow. The capabilities are endless. You can even copy your favorite aquascapers. W well, try to, okay? I, I try to. It's not the best, but it's good enough. No matter how much fun you can have playing this game, there are limits to it. You can't bury your hardscape into the substrate. You need to lower the substrate level, place your hardscape, and then raise it to the desired level. It's kind of a hassle when you're trying to get that perfect rock placement. But that's not all. You know how you can squish plants together into a single corner? You can't do that here. Yeah, you can change the height of the plant, but you cannot change the width of the plant. Which means you need to find a spot where it is not clipping through the hardscape, equipment, or even the glass itself. It takes longer than needed to find that exact spot where you're allowed to place it. Apart from the varied selection of hardscape and plant species, that's really all the complaints I have about this game. In my eyes, it's a very well-made aquarium simulator with easy-to-use controls. Plus, it can be very relaxing to just simply watch your aquascape with night mode turned on. Yeah, you don't get that hands-on experience with traditional methods as you need to purchase all the materials in order to start practicing, and that can really add up. However, this game comes with everything you need for just $10 USD and is available through Steam. Currently, this is one of the only few games on the market where you can practice aquascaping in. Also, it still has constant support with updates being pushed out. So if you're looking for a cheap way to get better at aquascaping, try this game out. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. And if you want some more aquascaping content, be sure to check out this video over here.